Is COVID-19 vaccine the mark of the beast? Is it the 666? It is not the mark of the beast. Number one reason is that we will be raptured before the 666. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9, For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. And also, if you read in Revelation chapter 6 down to chapter 18, you cannot find the presence of the church on the earth. At the moment of seven years tribulation, church is absent on the earth. That means what we have today, this vaccination, is not 666 because we are yet present on the earth. Then, number two, the mark of the beast or 666 is not a trickery. They will not trick you if they mark you with 666. They will tell you plainly what is the purpose of it. The purpose of it is to identify yourself with Antichrist that you worship the dragon or Satan. That is the meaning of the 666. So it is about your faith, it is about your allegiance, it is about your worship. They will not ask you about your health. They will not ask you about your allergies. But in vaccination, of course, the doctors will ask you about your allergies, your health. So that is the difference between vaccination and 666. In 666, they will ask you about your allegiance, your worship. But in vaccinations, they will ask you about your health, your allergies. Are you stressed or not? In Revelation chapter 19, verse 20, the Bible says, And I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was committed to them. Then I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands, and they live and reign with Christ for, for a thousand years. No. So, Mark of the Beast is about worship, and vaccination is about health. Then, the third reason is this. Antichrist must be revealed first. His character must be revealed first. Okay. If you look at in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, Antichrist will reveal himself first before the 666. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself as, showing himself that he is God. He sits as God in the temple of God. Where is that? That is in Jerusalem. But what we have in Jerusalem now is the mosque, not the temple. So that is far from the truth that the COVID-19 vaccines is the 666. Then the fourth reason is that the Bible is clear that the 666 mark is a mark. It is an imprint. It is a stamp. If you look the Bible in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, the Bible says, he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free or slave, to receive a mark, that is a mark, on the right hand or on their foreheads. Right hand, foreheads, not shoulder. And then it is clear that it is a mark, not a vaccine, not a liquid form of something. It is a mark. So it is clear, Christians, that what we have today, vaccination, is just a common thing. It is not something about our faith. And also it is wrong to assume that vaccines can destroy your faith. They added that it can lose your salvation. If you take vaccines, if you take vaccines, you will lose your salvation. Wrong, because the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So our salvation is secured. Vaccines cannot separate us from the love of Christ. Okay? So that is our topic today, Christians. It is not 666, huh? Vaccine is not 666. It is just a cure. It is just a prevention against the sicknesses. If you would like to watch our videos, you may scroll the FB page or my YouTube channel. And if you like to watch my coming videos, please follow my page or like my page. 
that would help grow our community. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you.